Hello everyone, this is Yu Shichen from Zhejiang University. Today I'd like to introduce our work, MID, Tracing Screen Photos via More Patterns. The other authors are Xiao Yu Ji, Li Xu Wang, Qi Peng, and Wen Yuan Shi from Zhejiang University, and Yi Chao Chen from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Nowadays, cyber theft of chain secrets has become more and more common. It refers to leaking sensitive business information, such as digital documents, over cyberspace. In 2018, it has caused 6 billion euro economic loss in Europe alone. Therefore, cyber theft of chain secrets has become a serious business threat. Such cyber thefts are usually involved with the insider adversaries. They access the confidential files legally, but link them to the illegal parties by USB disks or messaging tools. But now, these two methods have been fixed by companies by file logging. As a result, the attacker starts to photograph the computer screen that displays the confidential information with his smartphone, and then shares the photo for information leakage. We refer to this new kind of attack as screen photo-based leakage attack. To avoid cyber theft, the company usually conducts digital forensics with invisible digital watermarks. Existing watermarks usually work for digital or printed medias, but may not suffice for the digital forensic of screen photos, since the noises introduced by both the electronic screens and the camera sensors may make the watermark no longer recognizable. Therefore, digital forensics for screen photos is in urgent need. To address it, we take a close look at the screen photo. We find that screen photos are usual with more patterns. What are more patterns? More patterns are optical phenomena generated during the process of photographing screens. They are generated by the superposition of two periodical layers, such as the image of the screen on the camera sensor and the color field array of the camera as shown in the figure. Since more patterns are natural optical phenomena in the screen photos, we wonder, can we use them to trace the source of the file leakage, or in other words, the identity of the adversary? This is the basic idea of MID. MID refers to the more pattern-based user identity and works as follows. Once an adversary logs into a computer or an application with his account, MID will modify the displayed content slightly based on his identity. When the adversary takes picture of the screen, the modification will create more patterns in the photos. Once obtaining the photos, we can decode the embedded more patterns to recover the embedded ID. Therefore, the MID system mainly consists of two parts, encoding and decoding. For encoding, the first question is, how to generate an MID? To generate an MID, we first generate a display greeting, which is like the carrier signals in the communication. More patterns in the screen photos are the superposition of the image on the camera sensor and the CFA of the camera. However, we can only modify the pixels on the screens, which can be expressed as the follow equation with a periodic function and a phase function. The periodic function determines the frequency of the generated more patterns. To make them visible to the human eyes with common shooting distance, we set the periodic functions like that. The phase function, on the other hand, determines the layout of the more patterns. To make the more patterns similar to the natural ones, we mimic the structure of the LCD panel and design the grading to be vertical strips. Then, we encode MID into the display greeting. For encoding, we choose to use the intensity of the more patterns to make it more natural. The intensity of the more patterns is determined by the intensity of the display greeting and further determined by the color distance of two adjacent strips in the greeting. Thus, we use several color pairs with various distance to encode MID. Specifically, we propose the discretized bipolar non return to zero encoding to make the edge of a bit more flat. As shown in the figure, each level in the figure represents a color vector with different distance. 
We set the average of each color pair to be the same to make the generated grading visually even. However, we can still observe slight difference at the edge of each pair. This is because the gamma correction adopted by modern computers and the displays. To avoid it, we propose luminous correction to make the encoding grading more even, as shown in the right. The second question is, where to embed MID? For example, for a file like this, where shall we embed the MID? To find the appropriate region for MID embedding, we first locate the regions of interest of the current page with computer vision techniques. Usually, they are texts or images. Then, to maximize the possibility that MID is captured in the screen photos, we embed the generated greetings in the vicinity of the center of the regions of interest. Therefore, we search for n regions of embedding, where n is the number of the bits in MID. Each region of embedding has a size of p times q, and we use a sliding window of the same size to scan the current page. For each candidate window, we calculate their fitness in the consideration of both evenness and the distance to the center, and employ the top n windows as our regions of embedding. Then, we design the decoding module of the MID screen. For decoding, the first question is how to locate the MID in the screen photos. To find the more area, we first rectify the imager with projection transformation to address the geometric distortion. Then, we use a sliding window to scan through the photo. Since we use a transverse coding style for MID encoding, the more area is likely to have larger color variations in the horizontal direction compared to the vertical one. Therefore, we locate those windows with larger horizontal color variations and then cluster them with mean shift clustering and the random sample consensus to obtain the full more area. Then, we decode the more areas to find what is the MID. Before decoding, we first conduct image preprocessing. We first transform the more patterns into the HSV color space and conduct decoding in the saturation dimension to make the decoding algorithm robust to various background colors. Then, for some exposure unbalanced photos, we balance their saturation to improve the decoding accuracy. Moreover, to enhance the discrepancy between bit 0 and bit 1, we perform saturation difference enlargement, which further is the burden of decoding. After image preprocessing, we recover IDs via k-means clustering with the assistance of check codes. We first obtain a horizontal saturation curve as shown in the figure upper. Then we employ k-means clustering to group the same bit into the same class. Finally, we utilize the check codes which are two digit sequence, one zero appearing before and after the payload of MID to identify each class, as shown in the figure below. In this way, we recover MIDs from screen photos. To validate the effectiveness of the MID scheme, we conduct evaluation with five display devices and six smartphones from various brands. We use the PDF document as a typical example and capture over 5,000 photos. We evaluated the MID performance from the following six aspects with two metric. BER bit error rate and NER ID error rate. The former reflects the decoding accuracy and the latter reflects the tracing accuracy. For different IDs, MID shows slight performance differences but can achieve an average BER of 0.6% and an average NER of 4%. We assume the performance differences between IDs may be caused by the limited samples as well as the randomness introduced during photographing. For different display devices, they all work well with the MID screen, but the LCD screen shows better performance compared with the laptop screens. We assume it is because LCD screens have larger sizes, resulting in larger more areas in screen photos. For different capturing devices, they also work well but single-camera smartphones show better performance compared with dual-camera smartphones, 
It may be because dual camera smartphones utilize imagery from both cameras for the final photo, which may have impact on the more patterns and thus the decoding accuracy. For different ambient lights, we find that the MID scheme works best in the dark environment, but can cooperate with any light conditions. For shooting distance and angles, the MID scheme can work well in a distance range of 60 cm to 80 cm, and in an angle range of minor 20 degree to plus 20 degree, which covers the possible attack distance and angles adopted by common adversaries. In summary, in this paper, we propose to employ the natural morph phenomenon existing in the screen camera channel for screen photo forensic and design the MID scheme to fulfill this goal. The evaluation results with over 5,000 photos demonstrated the effectiveness of the proposed scheme. And this is for today. Thank you for your listening. I'd like to take question now.